Hi everyone, welcome to this awesome GCSC pseudocode guide. It's going to tell you everything about pseudocode. Well, not everything about pseudocode, everything that I know so far, which is what is pseudocode? What is pseudocode used for? What are the conditional statements? What are the loops? And a worked exam style question. So let's get started. Pseudocode isn't some alien being or something. It, it might seem like a programming language, but actually it's not. It's actually just similar to English. It is, like flowcharts, used to set out the structure of an algorithm. This means that it is used to represent an algorithm. It is, the primary it is the primary method of representing an algorithm as it is very, very easy to, to read and nearly as easy to write. By the, by the end of this video, you should be able to answer all the questions and be able to successfully write an answer to a, pseudo, to a pseudocode exam style question. Well. Now that we figured out what pseudocode is, and what it's used for, it's time to figure out what conditional statements are, and what are the conditional statements. Well, this is really simple. Like every other part of pseudocode, it's extremely simple. A conditional statement is just used to test a condition. There are two different conditional statements that you will need to know for your GCSE exam. They are if, then, else, and if, and the other one is case of end case. It is understandable if you don't understand what any of this means. It gets easier the more you practice. So, if, then, else, and if is used to test a simple condition. Here is an example of its use. If you look over here, where it says output enter number, read number, if number is greater than zero, then write positive, else write negative, end if. First, you see your first if here, then you see then, then you see else, and here's end if. It's used to test a simple condition, as you can see. Here's a flowchart showing this. Uh, the case of end case statement is used within particular boundaries. For example, for a class grading system. Look here. Now that we've finished all the conditional statements, we got to learn about the loops. The loops are the most important part, as using the correct loops in the correct situations will get you the highest marks and the highest grades. There are three loops you will need to know which carry out different processes. The first loop you'll need to know is for to next, which is used when the number of repetitions is, knows in, is known in advance. Take a look at this example. For count is equal to 1, 2, 10, input number, total is equal to total plus number, next count. The next loop you'll need to know is while, do, end while. This loop may never be performed and the condition is checked before the loop. This might seem confusing, but don't worry. Here, it's really, really easy. Here's an example incorporating the loop. While count is less than 10, do, do, Input number, total is equal to total plus number, count is equal to count plus one, end while, output total. The final loop, I know, it's so easy, right? There's only three, right? Uh, is repeat until. This loop is used when the number of repetitions is unknown. Also, the condition is checked at the end, which means the loop is always run through once. This is an example using the loop. Repeat, input number, total is equal to total plus number, count is equal to count plus one, until count is equal to ten, output total. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. It is the exam style question. This is where the student becomes the master. It is where you grow from a little caterpillar to a big butterfly. It is now that you put everything you have learned to the test. I will now pause the video and show you the question. Get ready, young noob. Here is your question. Write an algorithm using pseudocode which inputs the population and land area for 500 countries. 
calculates the population density for every country, outputs the largest and smallest population density, and outputs the average population for, for all 500 countries. Don't forget to initialize the variables at the beginning. This is the hardest exam style question you would probably get in any GCSE test. So, you have chosen to see the answer. The answer lies right here. If you are willing to see it, do not pause the video. Okay, here we go. This is the answer. If you have something similar to this, it would also be correct. If you have something not similar to this, then it would be best to check with your teacher and show him the question as well. Well, young one, you have now completed your pseudocode training. You can move on, reach further. You have the power in your hands, in your fingers, on your computer. Now go, spread your wings. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you gained some knowledge from this video. Please leave creative, not annoying feedback in the comments, and feel free to leave any questions as well. I'll be glad to help. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to this channel, as well as my channel, which will be located in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Re no, I I'm Krishna, and I'll see you later.